How good is fucking Matt Damon? I mean, I but like I'm watching him in your movie, and I and I'm always amazed at just like you know out of that whole crew. I mean, that motherfucker can. He's a pro, dude. He's such a pro, and it's like it's weird because. You know, this is a dude who's gone on in life. Like, yeah. I was a footnote in this dude's fucking history. And to see, like, you know, I just watched True Grit again. Right. Like, I've watched, watched it now it. twice since I it's did come too. out. Same thing. Fucking love it. And I love it for his performance especially. Like, I could sit there Sweet. and watch him be like, Subtle. ever stalwart, you know, yeah. at the end. Yeah, yeah. He's just, fin- the dude is the goods. And when I... Pa- when when I pass from this earth, like, I, or even before I pass from this earth, yeah. like, I'm gonna be like, wow, I did, I worked with a great, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he really is. He, oh, he's he's the good. And he's it, fucking it, sick. It, goods. Are you like me though, man? If I watch a, a, a Coen Brothers film, I need to watch it at least twice before I can even register the humor in it, uh, the the brilliance of it. I mean, I've never watched movies where literally I, the last few Coen Brothers movies, you you end the movie and you're like, you realize, oh shit, it's on me Here's the, to figure it out. Yes, and that began for me, and this is going to sound really weird because most people look at like, what? That's yeah. an easy one. Big Lebowski was the first bump in the road for me. First yeah, me time too. I, saw I didn't it, get it. Oh, I, I'm, I'm so scared to admit that because this is a Big Lebowski world. And, no, and I know. But generally, I people are like, what do you mean? But I did I, not get it. I went to see this movie at a at a, a movie theater in Pittsburgh while we were shooting Dogma. Yeah, and it was me. It's the only time I've ever gone on a celebrity movie date. But it was Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Chris Rock, yeah. me, and and Jason Mewes, my friend Scott Mosher. Yeah. Um, Chris Rock is like openly heckling the movie while it's happening because he thinks it sucks. The uh, the fact that we were just sitting there and Chris was kind of tearing into it. It wasn't. I think it had everything to do with Fargo. We'd all went in looking for Fargo. Fargo had been the one right before it. So we were like, these we know these motherfuckers inside now. We know everything the Coen Brothers could do and fucking They're geniuses. Show. And then we come in and we see essentially like a movie that I would have made a stoner movie, right? You know, just slightly smarter, right? And I think all of us were just kind of gut punched by the first screening like chris was literally as the movie was ending yeah. he was booing as we were it was really weird i i had the not a booing was reaction it? i just didn't get it because i i give when, them the when did you get it when well did you i give them the benefit it? of the doubt because even when i watch well i it's not my favorite coen brothers movie and i'm not sure it completely resonates mm-hmm. with me but like even when i watched uh burn after reading mm-hmm. like because i didn't like it the first viewing i watched it a couple times and i can at least appreciate it i thought malkovich ate too much of the movie right. uh, a little bit i think he was a little miscast and it uh-huh. kind of distracted shit for me but like uh serious man and true grit like and and no country for old men i'll watch four or five fucking times you get a bunch out of them yeah because... i mean look here the highest compliment i could pay any filmmaker is i still watch raising arizona oh, the best. I get popping in and never. I'm, it's not one of those movies where I'm like, we've done it too much. Let's move on. Fargo, yeah. Raising Arizona, and, Barton Fink, Miller's Crossing. These movies are religion to me.